All right, what's up, guys? Back with another Coinbase episode. We'll start things off with Bitcoin, and then we will move into Coinbase. Bitcoin and Coinbase have a very strong positive correlation to one another, so obviously, wherever Bitcoin goes, Coinbase will most likely follow. So, in the last Bitcoin episode, we drew this trend-based Fib extension area together that spanned between seventy to seventy-one thousand dollars. And as you can see on screen, Bitcoin spent the entire week trading sideways around seventy to seventy-one thousand dollars. So, Bitcoin is having a bit of a drop today. Shorter-term time frame trading is always a coin flip, but I still believe Bitcoin makes its way to eighty thousand dollars. At a first glance, Bitcoin looks like it is getting rejected by the trend-based Fib extension area, but Bitcoin is holding firm at the previous all-time high at around sixty-nine thousand dollars. Whenever you see shallow sideways consolidation, it is often a sign of a continuation pattern, as we saw back in February of this year when Bitcoin was trading at around fifty thousand dollars. Bitcoin traded sideways for a week or two before making new all-time highs, and I believe the same situation is happening right now. So let me draw out some more Fibonacci targets if and when Bitcoin does make a new all-time high. So taking a three-point trend-based Fib extension. So if Bitcoin does push higher from here, the short-term targets to the upside are at... $75,000. And obviously the $80,000 price target we have been looking at for a while now. And let's not forget the long-term picture. Every time that Bitcoin has closed a monthly candle above the blue 0 0.75 Fibonacci trend line, Bitcoin has always gone parabolic to new all-time highs. You can verify that for yourself. December of 2012, October of 2016, July of 2020, and now February of 2024. Once the monthly candle closes above the blue 0 0.75 Fibonacci trend line, that pretty much confirms new all-time highs for Bitcoin. And as explained before, because of Coinbase's positive correlation to Bitcoin, Coinbase stock will be a direct beneficiary of Bitcoin's outperformance. Now, I also do remember saying that the worst case scenario was a repeat of what happened in July of 2020. Just a quick refresher, in July of 2020, Bitcoin closed a monthly candle above the blue 0 0.75 Fibonacci trend line, right? Before retesting it as support before pushing to new all-time highs. If that were to happen again today, that would mean a retest of... Where is my price tool? There it is. So that would mean a retest of approximately $40,000, which as explained before, that would not be the end of the world. That would be just another opportunity to buy the dip. Okay, so finally moving into Coinbase stock. Coinbase stock is breaking out of Wyckoff accumulation schematic number two. Now, for the past month, we drew out the white trend-based Fib extension resistance area together that spanned between $242 and $287. And that's pretty much where Coinbase stock has been trading at for the past month. As stated before, $287 remains the level to break for the bulls. If the bulls break above $287, let me draw out the next Fibonacci target. So if the bulls break above $287, the next short-term target is at roughly $324. Now, conversely, if the bulls fail to break above $287, that's going to open the door for the bears to take Coinbase stock down for a retest of the white supply trend lines, as well as the red 61.8% Fibonacci retracement and the white cough support level that spans between $158 to $116 that would align with the worst case scenario I explained for Bitcoin one minute ago. But like I said, that would not be the end of the world. Always remember the bigger picture here. Coinbase stock is breaking out of Wyckoff accumulation and Bitcoin has closed a monthly candle above the blue 0 0.75 Fibonacci trend line. The question isn't if Coinbase stock is going to make a new all-time high. The question is when is Coinbase stock going to make a new all-time high? Historically speaking, all crypto assets have gone parabolic to the upside 
after the Bitcoin halving, which is the yellow line on screen. Okay, so moving into some indicators, starting with the RSI, yes, there is a weekly bearish divergence printing with Coinbase making a series of higher highs, but the RSI indicator is printing a series of lower highs. But very similar to Bitcoin, Coinbase stock has just been trading sideways for the most part for the past few weeks. That is not a sign of weakness. So even though there is bearish divergence on the weekly time frame, I still stand by what I said a few minutes ago. In my opinion, Bitcoin most likely pumps to $80,000 and Coinbase stock will most likely follow to the upside as well. I still believe there is another pump to the upside coming. Now, moving over to the MACD, the MACD looks a lot more bullish than the RSI indicator, because as you can see on screen, both the signal line and the histogram are making higher highs. Remember that the MACD measures momentum, so we are seeing increased momentum on Coinbase stock, which is a good sign. In fact, this is the highest momentum reading that Coinbase had in its stock history. This is very bullish for the long-term picture on Coinbase stock. Okay, so let's close things off with the Coinbase against Bitcoin valuation. I turned off all the indicators and all the levels this week and just left the moving average ribbon. I do believe simpler charts are the best charts and the most complicated charts are the worst charts. The way I was taught is to just keep it simple. So as you can see, in a bear market like in 2022, the red moving average is above the dark orange moving average, which is above the light orange moving average, which is above the yellow moving average. Now fast forward to today, the yellow is above the light orange, which is above the dark orange, which is above the red moving average. So hopefully you guys can see that trend change from a bearish market to a bullish market. This is very positive for the long-term picture on Coinbase. Okay, so that's my analysis on Coinbase stock for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.